I hope everybody is having a good evening. I'm going to pull up my iPad, uh, or I'm gonna pull the live chat up on the iPad so that way I can see if there is anyone here and see all of your comments and do all the things. So bear with me just a moment. If you're catching this on the replay, thanks very much for watching the replay. I always appreciate you being here and taking the time to rewatch or rewatch or watch them for the first time. Uh, and it really, uh, why? oh, I have to click lives, that's why. I was like, why is this not showing up? It's because I have to click the live tab. Well, maybe. What is happening here? Am I really live? I don't know if I'm actually live. It says that I'm live, but, <laughs> but I'm not seeing it. What's going on? Anywho, while I'm still trying to figure this out, I hope all of you are having a great evening. Go to my channel. Let's see, there it is. Yep, it is there. And there are two people here, apparently. So, ah, oh, hello. So Becca is here. Carissa is here. Joyce is here. June is here. Hello. And yes, Dexter is here. Uh, so Becca says, love your backdrop. Thank you so much. Hello from Minnesota. Hello, Celeste. Betty, hello. Why does this have an ad? Goodness gracious, I don't need the ad. Uh, although it helps me when you do watch my <laughs> the advertisements that show up on my channel that does help me out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so everything is looking good. I see myself. I see the chat. I see everybody. Irish, hello. Irish sale lady, hello, welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. And yes, Dexter is joining me tonight. I am once again house and dog sitting. And I thought I would bring Sylvia along with me to do so. And how about we do a little bit of, uh, shall we do some, some, should we do a little trick with Dexter for everyone so we can show everybody? Hello, Roxanne, welcome. He knows this is for him. Dexter, I would say sit, but he's already sitting. Dexter, speak. <laughs> Dexter, speak. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Pa, good. Other, good. Good boy, good boy. He's a good boy. Um, <laughs> yes, it is a nice touch. The spinning tree is very nice. Again, I am house sitting. And this is the, their decor, so I figured since I have a lovely backdrop, why not go live and do some live stuff, right? I figured that would probably be uh, probably be something fun to do. So I have Sylvia with me. I have a whole bag of scrap fabric. I don't have an iron. I should have grabbed my friend's iron, but I didn't. <laughs> Dexter is dog goals. He is pretty well trained for the most part, although he would not listen to me this morning. Oh my gosh, this morning. By the way, can y'all hear me okay? I think you probably can. Y'all are responding in the chat, but I just wanna make sure that all my equipment is working out well. So let me know if you can hear me okay, or if I need to adjust anything. Um, the So this morning, I don't know if you heard, but the Dallas-Fort Worth area did have severe storms. We had a couple of confirmed tornadoes that touched down. It was an interesting morning. I did not wake up with my alarm going off. I, w I woke up to the sound of a tornado siren being my alarm. Was not ready for that. Um, they said that the severe weather was not going to be all that bad here in DFW. In fact, they were saying that we probably wouldn't get very much at all. Like a brief tornado spinning up was possible. But I think it was uh, as we got closer to this morning, I think the meteorologists were like, oh... A little more intense than we thought it was going to be, and so they upped the the severity level. Uh, but it was uh, it was interesting. Excellent. Thank you guys so much for letting me know my audio is working well. Uh, so anywho, so this morning about eight o'clock, eight fifteen or so, uh, I hear the tornado sirens that wake me up, and I shoot out of bed because I have storm anxiety, severe storm anxiety, severe storm anxiety. Um, and so I shot off into the hallway and I grabbed pillows and I grabbed blankets and I tried to get Dexter to stay with me in the hallway, but he was having too much fun gallivanting around the house. <laughs> and I finally just was like, all right. So he ran around the house a little bit 
And then I started, and then I think he figured out that it was not a good situation to be running around the house in, and he went straight for his kennel, and he stayed there the rest of the time. So it was a very interesting morning. I'm glad this morning is over with and done with because it was very interesting. Hey, Nancy, welcome. Nancy Gus is here. Nice shirt. Uh, you were uh, with me when I went to this location, Becca. Uh, I joined Becca took me to the uh, National Air and Space, is it National? Is it National? I think it is. The Air and Space Museum for sure, uh, near Dulles Airport where the space shuttle's at. So that was fun to see and I did get this t-shirt from there cause you know, gotta have those souvenirs. But anyways, I digress on all of that. I'm happy to be here tonight. I have a huge bag of scraps. I have Sylvia with me and I figured we do a little bit of postcard top making. I'm not going to actually put the whole postcard together. If you want to see how a postcard is put together, I do have a live video where I did put a postcard from beginning to end together. You can check that video out. It was one of my Maker Mondays. Go check out that video. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes, it is national. Okay. I thought, I thought it was, but I couldn't remember for sure. Um, I literally have a whole bag of scraps that I am going to be working with today. And I am just going to be creating. There's really no rhyme or reason. I'm literally just going to be sewing my scraps together to um, create some sort of top for a postcard. Um, and then that's all I'm going to be doing. So I thought I would come live and do it with y'all uh, and chat with y'all and say hello to everybody. We got 26 people here. Let your friends know that I'm currently live. If they don't know that I'm live, let them know. Send them over here and be like, hey, Ian's live. Come hang out with me. Uh, and if you're catching this on the replay, you know, put this on while you're working on a project of yours and we can just sit and sew together for a while. How about that? How about that? I think that's what we're going to do tonight. So how is it everybody's Tuesday been? I couldn't remember what date it was. How's everybody's Tuesday been? Have you been pretty busy? Have you been pretty chill, relaxed? Let me know. Hey, Paula, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad that y'all are here with me. Now, if I was really uh, a perfectionist, I would go grab the eye. I would go and dig for the iron, but I forgot to do that. So I literally am just going to stick stuff together and sew it. And like, I, there really is no rhyme or reason to what I'm sewing. I'm literally just putting scraps of fabric together in hopes that they might work out and work together. Uh, I gotta get this foot pedal moved. I did move my table. Like I sewed for a moment just to make sure that it was working and then I moved my table after I sewed. So anywho, what have y'all been up to today? Have y'all done anything exciting, anything fun? Do y'all have any fun plans coming up? I do have my iPad so that I can see what y'all are saying. Um, like I said, I had to do some tests before I got started with the live this evening. And so I did some testing to make sure that Sylvia was working properly, and she is. Um, but it took some it took some finagling today. She she was a little grumpy today. I feel like because uh, every time I tried to sew, she was giving me some loops. So I finally had to tighten tighten it way up. Um, I'm at currently a nine setting on here. And she's finally acting correct and giving me the seam, the um, seam without any loops or anything. Uh, Judy says, Ian, so you and Sylvia sewing in front of your Christmas tree. I sew on a Singer sewing machine like you. Uh, this is not my house. I, as much as I would love this to be my house, this is not my house nor my tree. But it made for a great backdrop and a great setting for tonight. So I figured, you know, why not? Why not? We'll give it a try. But yes, I am going to be sewing with my Sylvia in front of the tree. All I need now is some eggnog, right? That would be perfect. Get some eggnog and I think I would be very content. Um, let's see. Sandra is making Christmas cards. That sounds fun. Doreen says, hi, Ian. Normal day. Work, worked today. I did as well. 
Nellie says, hello, Ian, Becca, and Nancy. Irish sail lady. Hey, Irish sail lady, what's your name? What, what's your name? So that way I can try and put your actual name to your username. Uh, I went to company Christmas dinner and ate too much. Ooh, what'd you have? Uh, had to bring the bread pudding dessert home for tomorrow. That sounds, that actually sounds like a really good plan. Like, that sounds like a really good plan. Let's see, I think I want it. Do I want it there? I'm working, there's a salvage on this one, so I'm trying to like, kind of think about where I want to put that. I, I work remotely, so I do not have a company Christmas party to attend, which is totally fine. I am very happy with my job and um, working remotely makes me very happy. <laughs> so to me, it's okay that I don't have a company Christmas uh, party to attend. Uh, but we did do, um, my team did, um, we exchanged gifts uh, virtually. So we mailed each other packages of, we did the, we used a website called Elfster. I don't know if you've heard of that before, but we use Elfster um, and it was a lot of fun. And I got, uh, my secret Santa was very kind to me and got me two, uh, let's see, a baking dish from the Disney store and then like a little platter, serving platter or I guess it could be like a catch-all, like you come in the door and throw all your keys and change and stuff into it. Um, she got me uh, one that it says uh, home, but instead of the O, it's the Disney castle because I love Disney. Um, <laughs> Becca asked the eight ball, has Ian fallen while house sitting? Uh, and that seems to not be responding let me check on that real quick, uh, Becca, to make sure that my um, abs is, let me make sure that it's actually working because for some reason it didn't look like it was wanting to answer your question. So I'm gonna log into that really quickly and make sure that it is actually activated at this moment. I don't know why, sometimes it like turns itself off and I'm not exactly sure why. To answer your question though, no, I have not fallen while I've been here at the house, which is uh, a, kind of a miracle, but, but that's fine. Uh, let's see here, commands. Commands should be working. Commands should be working, so I'm not exactly sure why it's not showing up. Uh, Yo Petty G says, good evening, love the tree, sewing machine, and the dark fireplace. I know, I wish I could put a fire in it, but um, you, know, sure, you sure know how to set the mood. Yes, Mona, the tree is moving. It is not just your imagination, and um, it is actually spinning right now. Uh, my friends, they have a motor on it and it makes the tree spin. So you, your eyes do not deceive you. That is actually happening right now. The tree is actually spinning. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I think it's, uh, I think it's a nice way to see all the ornaments on the tree, but like, I don't know. What are your thoughts? What do you think about spinning Christmas trees? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I think, honestly, I think it's a little gaudy, but that's just me. It's just me. I love my friends very much, and he, ever since I've ever known them, um, they've had this spinning Christmas tree. Actually, they have two spinning Christmas trees. There's another one in the other room that you can't see. <laughs> Mona says, oh, good. I thought I was losing it for a moment. Nope, you are not. Uh, <laughs> Doreen, Doreen says, do you fall a lot? I know you did at Becca's. Um, I do. I'm very clumsy and I do tend to fall, not necessarily fall. I tend to trip a lot. I'll put it that way. I'll tend to trip or lose my balance frequently. Um, that does happen a lot. Um, 
Becca just wasn't exactly sure like what she got into because she didn't know how clumsy I really am, um, which is fine. But it was just funny for Becca to get like to actually see the real me and how clumsy and like multi-talented I am at the art of losing gravity. I don't know. We'll go with that. Oh, man. Yep, it was, uh, that's just me, unfortunately. That was just me. I worked in the entertainment uh, sector for a while, and I worked at a theme park, and I definitely fell off of the stage more than once. Um, yeah, that was, that was fun. I keep going, <laughs> this is hilarious. I keep reaching up because I, I have muscle memory to like hit the button to auto cut the thread. And I forget that poor Sylvia does not have, like I am the auto cutter. Sylvia does not have one built in. It was funny, Doreen. It was very, very funny. I really enjoyed that visit a lot, but man, I don't think Becca really realized uh, what she got herself into with, with me visiting. Uh, Becca says, I miss you. Come back. I miss you too. I want to come back soon. <laughs> I want to come back very soon. Um, let's see. Maybe, do I have enough of this? I want to come back sooner rather than later. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to plan something for me to come back out. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Betty G. Yo, Betty G. Uh, she says, maybe you should get a medic alert necklace just in case you fall and can't get up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get one when I'm, when I'm a little bit older for sure. Um, yeah, but thankfully, you know, it's, it's funny because, um, I have the Apple watch and the Apple watch has the like fall detection on it. Um, or at least it's supposed to. And I fell, like when I fell down the stairs. <laughs> When I fell down the basement stairs at Becca's, it did not go off. It did not alert. It did not anything. Um, and just the week prior, I had gone to my friend's house and her uh, boxer, like, he, he jumped up and, like, hit my arm or something. And it went off for that. And I was like... I did not fall. And it was like, oh, I detected a fall. Do you need assistance? And I'm like, no, because, you know, if you don't answer your watch um, when it detects a fall, it'll be like, oh, I think you have fallen. Do you need emergency services? And it'll call 911 and send a message to all your emergency contacts and all that kind of stuff. And so um, I was like, oh, my gosh, no, I'm fine. But when I fell down the stairs at Becca's house, <laughs> It uh, did not go off and did not say anything. And I'm just like, really? Really? You're gonna, okay, cool, cool. It's fine. Uh, Eagle Eyes says, Ian, I think you are so talented and hilarious. I just love watching your creations and your hilarious antics. Keep this up, makes my day. I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad. Uh, if you haven't, if you are new to my channel because of the 12 days of Quiltmas, thank you guys so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you are here um, and I'm so glad that I got the chance to do the 12 days of Quiltmas. It has been a blast doing that. I've had such a great time and I think a lot of people have really enjoyed the Quiltmas uh, series that we've been working on. Becca did such a great job with her quilt. I'm so glad that I got a chance to work with her. Like I kind of helped, helped her with her quilt because she worked on it a little bit while I was there and it was a blast. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed doing all that. So let me see. So what I'm doing right now, I'm measuring out my um, fabric here because I want a postcard that is five by seven and I make my quilt tops for my postcards a little bit bigger. So this one's actually measuring closer to eight, maybe even nine, um, but I have, I want a little extra on each side. And then if I do it this way, um, it measures over five inches, which is perfect. We want it uh, bigger than a five by seven. And so I'm gonna keep it probably like that. 
If I wanted to, I could trim off these. Am I gonna trim it off? I don't know. Maybe I might be able to use that. I'm gonna grab my rotary cutter. Becca says it was your layout idea. I, I, I helped, I inspired. I, I, it wasn't my idea completely. We worked together on it. Um, I have a couple of scraps here. I may just put them over to the side uh, because I don't think, I don't think they're gonna be enough to actually make something else out of, but I am just gonna set them off to the side in case I get inspired and decide that I want to make something with them. So, so here is just super simple, basic, easy. Maybe, ooh, I wonder if I like, I don't have a really, since I'm at a friend's house, I uh, don't have all of my normal stuff. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna leave just a simple, easy postcard. I love making these simple bars um, because they go together so quickly. They look really good. And then you can do some other things. I did um, some of the fabric that Becca let me use, the Christmas fabric. I actually went down the center of them with my sewing machine and did decorative stitches on them and it looks really good. So I think I'm just going to leave it just like that and I'll trim it up and do all that when I have an actual full size ruler that I can do all of that with. Um, Paula says, uh, I was two. I wasn't sure I had seen what I thought I had seen. Let's see. Oh my gosh. So Paula earlier said, I'm not sure I'll ever get over the picture of you falling off the chair at Becca's. Glad you weren't hurt though. It was pretty funny though. It was pretty, pretty funny. Hello, Susie, welcome. Hello from Texas back to uh, Las Vegas. I've been to Vegas once and it was, a, it, was a, it was a fun trip. I won $80 within the first five minutes of being at my hotel and then I lost it all. It was fine. It was fine. I knew, I knew that I was gonna be like spending money. So I said, I set an amount and I said, I'm gonna only spend this amount, and after that, that's it. And I did, and it was a lot of fun. Um, Susie switched from her phone to her computer, easier to write. I, I feel that, I feel that a lot. <laughs> it's always hard when I'm on a mobile device to like type everything out that I wanna say, and a lot of times I'm like sitting there trying to get in there, and like five minutes later, I, they've, we've already passed what I wanted to talk about. And I'm like, dang it, it's fine. <laughs> Susie says, welcome to Lost Wages, Las Vegas. Very true, Susie, very, very true. Like I said though, I did set a certain amount that I wanted, like I knew I was gonna spend that much and that much alone and that was it. That was all it was gonna be. I wanna do something with these roses. So I have some tulip pink fabric, some tulip pink scraps. This is from Curiouser and Curiouser. Hey, Pat Strawhouse, welcome. Um, and so I wanna do something with one of those. So I'm wondering maybe if I cut, like not fussy cut, but like cut one out, if maybe I might be able to make that the center of my postcard and then kind of do a frame around it. I don't know. I don't know. So that's five. I could actually make, so this is a five by five inch square. So maybe we'll cut this. We will cut this like so, and then cut this like so. Whoops. So I have a five by five inch square of it. I have all my scraps just going everywhere. Susie says, put the rose in the center of a log cabin. I might do that. Uh, what am I gonna pair this up with? Cause right now it's, honestly big enough to be a card front by itself at this very moment. But at least like the five part, I need to add some bits to the edge to make it the seven. 
So what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? Let's find some strips in here. Ooh, I have some of this fabric. I might use this on the edges. I think Dexter's dreaming down there. Ooh, that would be kind of cool. Let's see, actually, I might kind of do one of these numbers. I'm just playing around. That's the best part about postcards is you can play around with them. You can get as complex as you want. You can get as, you can get crazy. You can get simple. It's really completely up to you and what you want to do. I'm losing my line a little bit. Whoops. Ooh, wow, this is gonna be some great lines right there. They are kind of all over the place, but that's okay. That is all right. So I'm gonna, yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Although my line is a little, a little crooked. I wish I could have done that a little cleaner, uh, but that's okay. That will be all right in the end. Again, this is just for a postcard. It doesn't have to be like super straight or, you know, perfect. It can be whatever you want it to be. And then you just keep working on them. It's, this is a great scrap buster. Um, it does not take a lot of scraps uh, to play with. It, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to do these. So I'm gonna finger press this. Hello, Sandra. Did I say hello to you already? If not, hello, Sandra. <laughs> oh boy. I am ready for Friday. Is it Friday yet? <laughs> not yet, right? Not yet. I'm gonna overlap these a little bit more. I think I probably could have done just fine, but I really wanna make sure to capture everything, so I am just gonna do that. And then do this. There we go. There we go. I'm still, still getting used to working with Sylvia. She's been a dream. I really love getting to sew with her. She is so much fun to learn how to work with and because you know every machine has its quirks. I've learned the quirks of my Bernina at home. Um, I've learned her quirks and I'm learning what quirks um, Sylvia has. And by the way, if you haven't, if you didn't know where the name Sylvia comes from, Sylvia, this machine was given to me by a family friend and her mother's name was Sylvia. On the top of Sylvia's case, the actual Sylvia, wrote her name in gold pen on top. So to honor my friend's mother, um, my machine's name is Sylvia. It's interesting, I thought about this the other day, it's interesting that all of the featherweights out there, usually, I haven't seen one that didn't have a name. Um, they're usually always named, and I think it's very interesting that we do that. I know most people will like name their sewing machines, uh, but it seems like that's one of the very specific qualities of featherweight machines is that they get a name. Uh, Sandra says, you missed the storms around DFW area today. No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. Uh, missed them at all. They missed me, thankfully. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was rudely awoken this morning, not by my normal alarm, but by the tornado sirens and the tornado alert on my phone going off, letting me know that there was a tornado warning in the area. Um, so no, I did not. I also have storm anxiety, so like severe storm severe storm comma anxiety um and that was not the way to wake up this morning at all i was whoo that is one way to get the blood pumping for sure 
It was a very interesting and crazy morning. Thankfully, no damage here, no damage at my apartment. Everything was fine, and I do not know of anybody personally that was hurt, but there was a lot of damage across DFW. Grapevine got a whole bunch of damage, um, and thankfully, it sounded like everybody was okay, but goodness gracious, what a mess that was this morning, and I am just so thankful that so far, there have been minor injuries. Um, I haven't heard of anything too major, and I'm also very thankful that um, everything is, everything in my neck of the woods is okay, but goodness gracious, what a morning it was. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Uh, Susie says, today was moving my studio from storage to dad's old upholstery shop, uh, at the ranch. Tomorrow we'll be moving the fabric store pattern cabinet and the rest of the studio. Wow. That sounds like fun. I mean, the moving part doesn't sound so fun, but, uh, doing all that is awesome. And it sounds like the end result is going to be pretty awesome. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, Susie says, my mother named my long arm machine Tilly. That's a good name because I like, um, I don't know if anybody, I, I love to watch kid shows and there's a show called Big City Greens and one of the characters name on Big City Greens is Tilly. Paula says that she named her first car Oscar. Yeah. Sandra, where, what part of Dallas-Fort Worth are you located in? Because uh, it was a mess this morning. Mess, 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 mess. The, one of the tornadoes um, early this morning was actually headed in the direction of where my apartment is. Um, and I have a... I have a, a camera out on my balcony and an internet camera on my balcony. And so I was checking that to make sure that it was doing okay. Hey, Mary, welcome. The Crafty Panda is here, who I met when I was visiting Becca's. Uh, she uh, was a part of the welcoming committee when I landed, and she also joined uh, me and Becca for that seven hour long sewing that we did, um, which was a lot of fun, but goodness gracious, what a, what a long video that was. It was a fun video though. I definitely liked it, but goodness gracious, what a long video. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, I'm deciding where I want to put my next piece. I think I want this blue, but I'm going to look through just to make sure. Susie says, working on clue two of So Sweet. That's awesome. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Do I want to do, maybe I want to do this one. No. Yes, that's right. Panda also, puppy pay, uh, played also, uh, uh, she she basically babysat, puppy sat for Becca and I while we tried to finish So Sweet. I like that too. Uh, see you later, Paula. Thanks for joining. Sandra says that she lives close to the Dallas Arboretum. So, yep, that's right in the DFW area. You were, you were nail biting just like I was, I think. I was very nervous about the whole situation. Don't like that. I think, I don't know what I wanna do next. I'm looking, these are obviously not all of my scraps, but these are the scraps that I grabbed because I knew I wanted to do a little bit of sewing while I was here and so I grabbed some scraps. All right, I need y'all's opinion. What should I do for the next kind of layer? Should I do something like, I know I'm doing a terrible job of displaying. Should I do something like this? Should I do this darker blue? Should I do something like this? 
or should I do strips of these lighter constellation blue? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. It takes about 30 seconds for my video to actually make it out there into YouTube land. So I am going to just kind of hang out and hang tight until I see what your comments say. Barb asks, just got here, what are you making, Ian? I'm currently working on making some uh, postcard, quilted postcard tops. Here is one that I did, super easy, just making bars. Uh, nothing crazy with that, but I love, I love the look of that because you can do the decorative stitches in them. Um, and now I'm just working on another quilt, uh, quilted postcard. Oops, I just dropped that on the floor. Where did it go? I literally, oh, there it is. I'll get it in a minute. Um, Dark blue, dark blue, everyone's saying dark blue, okay. Darker blue, darker blue, darker blue, darkest. I like that last blue, the lighter blue. Darker blue, everyone seems to be going with darker blue so we're gonna add the darker blue to it. For my next trick, let's see, I think I want to do, is this, what is this, is this almost five? It's sure dang close. That's almost five inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the darker blue and I'm actually gonna sew it straight across from point to point, I think. I've got fabric everywhere. Fabric is everywhere. Ooh, Rachel says lighter blue blends too much with the other blue you already have on the block. That's a good point. Thank you for pointing that out. Do, do, do. Oh, I already missed being at Becca's. It was so much fun. Having Mary there, having Becca there, having the puppy there. Jason was awesome. If you missed Becca's live where Jason joined her, that was a hoot and a holler. Make sure to go check her video out. You can I you try exclamation point Becca. I'm not sure if it works or not, but try exclamation point Becca and see if my commands will pull up her channel. So I think, let's see, where are we at right now? It's almost seven, so I think I am going to cut just maybe like two inches. I think if I go two inches, that'll give me enough room to play with. So I'm gonna do that on all sides. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mary says, well, she apparently retracted her statement. <laughs> I was gonna read your comment, Mary, and it disappeared. So I'm just, it literally is just about playing with the fabric and postcards are a great way, like if there's a technique you wanna try or a new pattern that you wanna try, postcards are a great way to test all of that out and do all of that because it, if like you don't like it or if you mess it up, it's not a big deal. Like anybody's going to love getting a postcard from you, even if it's one that you messed up on or like, you know, have flaws or mistakes. Um, I think a lot of people just, I mean, we don't get a lot of good snail mail anymore. It's mostly junk and stuff. So I think just um, having some fun mail is totally awesome. I think they're gonna love it. Basically what I'm getting down to is no matter what it looks like, I think they're gonna love it. Crafty Panda says, that was a great live. That's Mary, by the way. And now I know who it is. Um, that was a great live with Sobeka and Jason really enjoyed it. I did too, it was, it, it was cracking me up. They were cracking me up. Um, Jason is such a funny guy. And um, hearing them banter back and forth was a lot of fun. Of course, I got that when I was there. I got it. I got it in person. Um, but they they are really Becca and Jason are really really funny and a lot of fun to hang out with. Just 
still so thankful that I got to spend time there. And Becca's sewing studio is just like, I'm so envious of her space. It's so gorgeous. It's so big. There's just so much amazingness there. So very thankful. Uh, do, 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 do. Barbara says, I want your sewing machine. It looks just like the one my mom had when I was little. It is, she is a 19, I mean, I don't know if it is for sure, but she is a 1948 featherweight that I inherited through a family friend. This was her mother's machine. And I, she was my, my, the family friend was, uh, she wanted to, she wants to downsize. She's, she's older and she's looking to downsize some of her things. Um, and so she asked me, she's like, Hey, do you know where I can sell this? And I was like, I'll buy it. I, I will, I will, I will buy it. I will buy it. <laughs> and she's like, no, I can't charge family. And I'm like, uh, I don't care. Like I will, I will buy this from you. And she's like, no, no, we, I, let me talk to the family, but I, you know, I'm, go ahead and take it for now and um, whatnot. And I was like, okay. Um, and so I have taken really good care of her so far. I took her to go get serviced. I have made sure to learn, how, like educate myself about featherweight machines and all that. Um, and it's been a blast so far to get to know Sylvia and learn about her and all of her little quirks. But she's she's awesome. I like having her. She's a great travel machine. So like while I'm out of my apartment, it's been really great being able to have her to do, you know, small fun projects like this. I don't know that I would sew a full quilt. Maybe maybe I will do that. Maybe I will challenge myself to do a full quilt. Not the actual quilting and stuff, but like piece the top using just Sylvia. Maybe I'll do that on one of the like cotton cuts puzzle mystery quilts or anything like that, I might do that. Which by the way, if you have not already, make sure to go order Village Green, use code Ian Village to get a free gift with your first clue. Excuse me, I just had dinner. Um, so make sure to go check that out. Oh, it's okay, no worries, Mary. Mary said that um, she, she was apologizing for the retraction she was Misspelling on her phone, no big deal. I do that all the time. No problem at all. So I'm just trimming this up, getting some, some of the extra material out of the way. Um, <laughs> Carissa says, I miss having snail mail. That's not bills or junk mail. Totally agree. I actually just signed uh, there is um, a website that you can go to. You can actually find it on the USPS website. And for $4, you can actually remove yourself from all of the mailing lists and everything. So I definitely, like, it's 4 bucks. I was like, meh, guess I can do that. So now I have been removed off of junk mail uh, mailings and all that kind of stuff. So, um if it works, like I hope it does, it will be some of the best $4 I've ever spent. Um, Susie says they're not going to know if you don't tell them that there are flaws. That is correct, Susie. There's a lot of times, a lot of times quilters will tend to, like they'll give a project or a quilt or a project, I said project twice, sorry, I don't know why. Um, they'll give, you know, something to someone and be like, oh, here's this. But, you know, and there's this flaw here, there's this, and it's like, don't tell people, don't tell people the flaws, they're not going to notice unless you tell them. Um, so I think it's, it's really important to, like, not, <laughs> not tell people the flaws, because I think the flaws are beautiful and look really good. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't tell people, don't tell people your flaws. Unless your flaw is to spend a million dollars, then then you might want to discuss that with a partner. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do. Mm... Nope, I almost did the wrong thing. Almost did the wrong thing. Am I gonna have enough of this? 
I don't know. Um, Diana says, so you mail it? Uh, you are making a postcard to mail then. I was thinking a block, new to this. Diana, you can actually mail postcards that are quilted. So it's interesting because the USPS, you can actually mail just about anything. As long as it's not hazardous, sharp, or anything like that, you can mail anything. You can mail a coconut, you can mail a beach ball, you can mail a potato. As long as it has the right postage on it and isn't something that is dangerous, you can mail it. And so, yes, I am going to be mailing these. So what happens is you put your postcard top together, you put batting underneath it, you quilt everything the way that you want, then you use a very stiff uh, fusible interfacing to do the front and put a piece of cardstock on the back. And then there's a lot of different ways to finish it out. You can do a binding, you can do a zigzag stitch, you can do uh, pinking shears. There's lots of ways to finish it out. And then you have a postcard that you can actually mail in the mail. It does take a regular stamp, not a postcard stamp. So keep that in mind. Mail it with a regular stamp, not a postcard stamp. But otherwise, it is all exactly the same and works exactly the same. It's pretty cool. Uh, Sylvia would love that for sure. I am, I really hope that I am serving Sylvia well and doing Sylvia well. Um, I sent, the first time I sewed with Sylvia, I sent that video to my friend and she said, I love that so much. I think I wanna do, yeah, I'm gonna do this one next. I have a whole bunch of tulip pink scraps in here that I don't wanna get rid of. And so this is a great way to use those scraps. Which way do I wanna put it? I think I want to sew, where are we at right now? It's another thing I need to look at is how big is this so far? Oh, I'm gonna be trimming that up pretty hardcore. I don't know. Do, do, do. Susie says there is a 1939 Singer uh, treadle at the ranch that belongs to my sweetheart's grandmother. After the studio is set up, I wanna take it out and quilt on it. That would be a great way to, I, I think we should honor and treasure older machines because they are so awesome and they have such a history to them. This was, my friend, my family friend's mother's machine. She actually sewed curtains on it um, from what my friend told me. So it's it's a great way to honor them. You know what I mean? I think it's a great way to honor them and um, just kind of honor them. I don't know how else to put that. Um, the Crafty Panda, AKA Mary, says, I received a beautiful postcard from Ian this week. Thank you, my friend, so thoughtful of you. You are very welcome. You are absolutely welcome. I'm glad you received it. I'm looking through my scraps. I wanna, I want some strips, I think. Yeah, Diana, it is so much fun. I have a video here on my channel on how to do it. I did a live video of how to sew um, postcards. So go check out that video. It is a um, Maker Monday video where I go through the process of actually making a postcard from beginning to end. Ooh, maybe this bright orange. Ooh, I like that. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm just taking all my scraps out of the bag. Just taking all the scraps out of the bag. I was about to say, do I have this the right way? And then I realized it's a batik, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Elizabeth is here. Hello, welcome. No, you didn't miss much at all. I don't know how long I've been live, but I, you didn't miss much. Uh, Susie says, here at our home, I have a 1915 Singer Phoenix and a 1912 uh, Rossman and Fisher, 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 hand crank. Sorry, I have dyslexia, so sometimes words don't work for me. So apologize. I apologize. I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. Uh, but that's really cool. Carissa loves the hand crank machine so much. Becca has a hand cranked machine, um, which would work if her. Ooh, it would help if I put my presser foot down. I forget that the presser foot 
Did I just lock everything up? I sure did. I sure did. I messed it up because I forgot to put the foot down. And now she's a little bit jammed, but that's okay. There it goes. I think I got it now. I forget, like, I was doing this at Becca's house too. I was forgetting to put the foot down. Um, and her machine would yell because it is it has a computer in it. And her machine would yell at me and be like, hey, put the foot down. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I forgot. Because um, I'm used to my machine, which automatically puts the foot down for me. Let's see. I think Sylvia's a little upset at the moment. There we go, I think I got it back. She got upset with me because I didn't do the right process the right way and she started yelling at me. But I think I figured it out and I think it all is okay. I think. I know, poor Sylvia, my bad. Susie, let me know what you think of that video when you go watch it. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to redo this one. Didn't, I missed the corner a little bit. Seam Ripper, where's Jack? Ha ha, Jack the Ripper has returned. Cause you know, I can never go a live video without having to use Jack the Ripper, right? It's always my luck. I know, poor Sylvia. She'll be all right. She'll be okay, I think. I think she'll forgive me. Do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? I need to probably oil her, um, but I need to learn how to do the oil because there are several spots that you have to add oil to. I know, Jack is back. Sylvia is very quiet, yeah. Uh, Lily says, I can't believe how quiet Sylvia is. Part of it is my microphone does suppress some of the noise, but she is very, like I was surprised when I started sewing with her, how quiet she is. She's very, very quiet. And I love like, you would think she was really, really loud. She's not, she's not very loud at all. She's whisper quiet. All right, let's see if I can do it this time. I think I got it this time, we'll see. We will see. There we go. Something is happening. I'm getting a lot of text messages from a group chat. Let me check on that really quick, make sure that everything's okay. Goodness gracious, okay, everything is okay. <laughs> Diana says, Jack the Ripper seems to be my f uh, best friend. I, I know how that feels. I very much know how that feels. Um, there was actually, I did a video for Cotton Cuts. If you didn't know this, I'm an ambassador for Cotton Cuts. Um, they do not pay me, but I do get to do their puzzle mystery quilts. They send me one to work on each time. And, um, I did a whole, it was for name of the rose. I did a whole clue just fine. And then I realized that I had sewn it completely wrong, completely wrong. Um, so that was embarrassing and I had to go back through, not completely, but like I had really messed up one of the clues pretty badly. So I had to go back in and re like rip out everything that I had done and re-record part of it. And I, I had to like specify in my video, I was like, hey guys, like pay attention because I messed this up and I don't want y'all to mess up. So um, you might see the clue wrong again, just ignore that. Just do what I do, do as I say, not as I do. It's basically what it boiled down to. Oh, goodness me, it was pretty funny. Pretty 
pretty funny. Yeah, I don't even know if you can hear that or not. She's very quiet. She's whisper quiet. Love that. Love that. Um, Mary says, I have to put my Bernina in for service now after making six queen-sized quilts and nine Christmas stockings since August. Guess I will become more acquaint with, uh, acquainted with Peggy Sue during that time, right? Peggy Sue was a great machine, and I'm so like, glad I had the chance to work with her, but goodness gracious, I did miss my Bernina. I will say that. I did miss my Bernina when it was all said and done with. Becca is so kind to let me use her machine, but I missed, I missed my Bernina. Peggy Sue. Get some more comments here in just a second. That's the bad thing about doing a live stream on your own is you don't have somebody to read the comments off to you. Mary, get over here, read my comments to me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, everybody out there. I'm kidding, Mary knows I'm kidding with her. She'd do it too, she'd come read off comments, but this would be more than a simple little drive down the road for you, Mary. Um, Diana, it is so much fun. Diana says it sounds like it would be a lot of fun to do a mystery quilt. They are a blast to do, I really love working on the puzzle mystery quilts and village green will be getting started here uh in the beginning of 2023 it is going to be a lot of fun barbara says i have a 1959 singer saint o matic uh republic singer treadle a 1940 singer cabinet machine a 1940s whites singer for for tello embroidery machine and a heavy duty singer. Goodness gracious, you have a whole army of machines over there, don't you? I ran out of that one. I don't have any more of it. Oh, that's really nice that you get to have your mom's machine, Barbara. Well, I'm gonna go with this one. It's not exactly the same, but it's close. So we'll go with that. Diana says, I've always had Singer machines, but just purpose, purchased, excuse me, a baby lock, uh, aerial sewing and embroidery, excuse me, an embroidering combo. Uh, let's see. That sounds, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm very distracted at the moment. I apologize. I think if I go right there, that should work. Um, I'm in love with this machine. That's so great. Susie has a Bernina 350 PE that sews and quilts king size quilts. I love my little workhorse. Kelly, hello, welcome. I am doing well, how are you? So glad that you are here. How much am I gonna take off of? Well, it's going to be a lot. I think that might be too much. This is not evening out very well, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's the good thing. Nobody's going to care. Nobody cares. It's all just for fun, right? It's all just fun. <laughs> Mary says, I would definitely do that for you, Ian. I'm doing the first puzzle mystery quilt using Hollyhock colorway. Village Green is the name of the subdivision I live in. So this is the first puzzle mystery quilt you're doing, right, Mary? You haven't done one before uh, Village Green, right? This is my... Counted them up the other day. I can't remember how many puzzle mystery quilts this makes. It makes a lot. I've done a lot. 
I actually found uh, if you go onto the Cotton Cuts website and use their search function, you can actually find all the different colorways and past puzzle mystery quilts. Um, and it's a lot of fun to see how many there are. Kelly says, it, I'm pretty good. Today was kind of a quiet day around here. I'm glad for you. It was not a quiet day around here. The day did not start off very quiet at all. But it turned out to be a good day after that. Goodness gracious. That, that start to the day was, whew, it was something else. It was something else, let me tell you. All right, I'm gonna trim these up now. <laughs> Mary says that she is a puzzle mystery quilt virgin. Well, welcome to the puzzle mystery quilt. I think you are going to have a blast. At least I hope you have a blast. They're a lot of fun for me. I like them a lot. Um, Barbara says your tree is beautiful. Thank you. It's not mine. <laughs> I am currently house slash dog sitting. Uh, my friends are out of town. They're actually in Alaska. Is now a good time to go to Alaska? Like, I don't think it would be, but apparently that's where they decided to go. So they're in Alaska right now, and I am taking care of Dexter. Okay, he's still asleep. He's asleep on the floor over here, so. There you go. All right. All right, so this is what we have so far. It's the, the rose is supposed to go this way, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I kinda, what do you think? What do you think of it so far? I think it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty. I like it so far. So I like this. I like how this is looking a lot. I can't wait to see, let's see here. How many inches is this across? Oh, it's bigger than seven. I don't have my big ruler with me. And a lot of times when I'm making postcards, I'll have my 12 by 12 inch ruler with me and I can use painter's tape to mark off the um, edges so I can like really pinpoint what I want it to look like. Um, and I don't have that right now, so it's a little harder for me to see. It is larger than five inches. So that works like that. I think this might be big enough now for me to um, I think now is the time to go for the northern lights that's why I would go that's why I would go up to Alaska is to see the northern lights for sure I think this is big enough to be it's I think it's big enough might help if I actually turn the cutting mat so that the uh, so that the, cause here's where the one inch marks start off. So I have going the right way and I can actually, you know, kind of see, uh, let's see here. Okay. So if I put this right on the line, that is seven, that is five. I think this is big enough to be a, to be a postcard like this. That looks big enough. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding it back. Yep, that covers that. Yep, that covers that. Yep, this is big enough to be its own postcard. So there's, there's another one. It is 
raggedy towards the edges because I'm going to use my big full size ruler to cut it down to be an actual postcard size but I'll do that at a later time. Um, I do like, I would probably quilt it, maybe uh, maybe I might trim the top and the bottom down a little bit so that way I can get a better idea of what it's going to look like when it's finally done. But I do leave my postcard tops bigger so that way it's easier for me to quilt them and then I can cut and trim it down. So I like that, I think that looks good. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Susie. It's, it is turning out really nice. I love it. I like that one a lot. So I think I'm gonna stop that one there. Um, and I love how it came out. And it's just, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. All right, Mary, have a wonderful evening. No worries about catching the replay. I hope you do, but if you don't, no big deal. Have a great night, Mary. And please take care of yourself. All right, so we made this one. And now we've made this one. Let's see if we can't make at least one more. Let's look at my scraps here and see if there is another one that I can make. I want to see, maybe I can start off with a banana. I really want to start off, this is, I have a project with this material coming out um, at some point. I need to take, I, I like to get glamour shots of my projects before I like put the photos out online. So at some point I'm going to get a glamour shot of this project. Um, it's going to be, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I, can't, I cannot wait for y'all to see it. It's going to be a hoot. Um, and I really, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Dexter is down here. He's underneath the table and his little paws are twitching and I hear him huffing a little bit. So I think he's dreaming. It's so cute. It's so cute. All right, let's see. I think I want to start off with this striped banana. Banana. So I think I'm going to do that. Put it there. Joy says, got to take the mutts out uh, to go. So I'll catch the rest of this later. Have a good night, everyone. And Ian, see you later, Joyce. Thanks for joining. I hope you had a good time while you were here. We got 60 people here. Thank you guys again so much for joining me this evening as I just have fun sewing. As I have fun just doing some basic, ooh, as I do some basic sewing. If you're working on a project tonight, what are you working on? I would love to hear what you're working on. I could probably use that. I could probably use that. The Empty Nest Quilter says, hi all. Hope everyone is getting ready for the silly season. What's the silly season? I don't know what the silly season is. Do, do, do. No, I wanna go two inches, I think. Trim at two inches. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Again, this is the fun part about this process is you just stick things together and sew them together and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, Christmas, that's what we call it here in Australia. Oh, I didn't realize that. Silly season is Christmas, okay. Good to know. I always wondered what it would be like. Well, I say that. I was gonna say, like, I always wondered what it would be like to have Christmas in summer, but here in Texas, it's like, we a lot of times, the, the joke 
that runs around here in Texas is, "'Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, the AC was running because we live in the South. Um, and so a lot of times it's pretty warm. So I was gonna be like, oh, I wonder what it's like to have a warm Christmas. And then I'm like, well, we kind of have that quite frequently actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Jamie said, tonight's project is hand binding a quilt for a customer. That's very nice. That sounds like fun. Uh, Empty Nester says, everyone gets silly at Christmas, especially on the roads. Yes, that's very true. Pat Strawhouse is working on putting away fabric and bag making supplies that arrived this week. That sounds like fun. Uh, let's see, do I want to do that fabric? What do I want to do next? Um, Teresa is working on a thousand piece Christmas puzzle. Goodness gracious. Sounds like fun. I don't know that I have the patience for puzzles. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Uh, where was I? I finished a journal for my niece, but I haven't been doing quilting lately. Uh, Lily says my new uh, KFAF, KFAF Bernina just came in, but I've been too sick with the flu to even take it out of the box. Oh no, Lily, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, I'll be finishing off table toppers and placemats after the postman has been. Um, it was 34 degrees this morning in Las Vegas. I think you were actually, I think you were colder than we were here. Um, yeah, that's, that's how things go around here. <laughs> um, it's 38 Celsius here in Queensland, Australia. Oops. Helps if you put the foot down. I'm so used to my machine, like when I push the pedal, for it to automatically put the foot down, and I gotta remember on the, on poor Sylvia, she does not have that feature, and I have to do it myself. There we go. Oh man. Working on the Bonnie Hunter mystery quilt. I've heard of that a couple of times. I haven't actually taken the time to research it, but I've heard of it a couple of times. Oh, and I missed, oh, I missed the spot. Missed the spot, missed the spot, missed the spot. Dang it. That's all right, we'll go on a line next to that one. We'll just do the same thing again, but I'm gonna move it over just a hair. The good thing, again, about these postcards is they do not have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination because your recipient is gonna love it no matter what. Um, there we go. That works a little better. Um, so even if it is crooked, like this block is going to be very wonky. It's not going to be very nicely pieced. It's gonna, gonna kind of be all over the place, but that is perfectly fine. Cause who cares? Who cares? As long as you are covering the material, like as long as you're, there's no holes, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm not even taking time to lay my seams down one way or the other, you know, sew them open or uh, iron them open. I'm literally just going from one to the next to the next. Um, yes, Kelly asked, do you actually mail the postcards? I do, I do actually mail these postcards. Um, you can mail them in different ways. You can either put them into an envelope and then send that envelope, 
or you can mail them just as they are. A lot of times I've been dropping them in the mail just as they are. They, so far, I have not had one uh, come back to me. Well, it won't come back to me because it doesn't have my address, but I have not had it uh, arrive at its recipient damaged. So it does just fine. It really does absolutely fine. And um, it's really, it's a, it's a great, it's a great project to do. It really is. Is this long enough? Ooh, it's long enough. I can use some of this paper. The purple wall says I'd worry that they get messed up. So far they haven't. So far they have arrived undamaged at every person that I've sent them to. Um, so they, they seem to do okay. But if you do worry about, you know, them getting damaged, you can put them into an envelope or uh, uh, Donna did this when she sent out hers to, when she sent a, out a postcard to me, she sent hers in a plastic envelope. So like, uh, like cellophane, cellophane plastic. Um, she, she used that and it did just fine. It did just fine. So that's another way you can, um, have them delivered without, you know, having to worry about them getting messed up. That's several different ways to do it. And it only takes a single stamp, regular, forever uh, stamp. You don't have to, oh. Well, Jack's coming back out to play because Ian sewed it backwards or sewed the fabric the wrong way. Um, yeah, you can um, put it on in an envelope and send it with a regular stamp. Or if you send it as the postcard itself, you um, just need a, a regular forever stamp. You don't, you can't use a postcard stamp on these because these are heavier and uh, then re regular postcards. But um, if you just send it with a regular stamp, you are perfectly fine. I don't know how far Canadian Post can be trusted to not wreck it. Hey, could happen. It could possibly happen. And that's why the envelopes work well for, for that. Um, if you're worried about it getting messed up, the envelopes work just fine. Pat Strawhouse says, I bet the postal workers really appreciate seeing your postcards and treat them with extra care. I don't know. I would, I would like to think so. I would like to think that they see it and go, oh, this is really cool. And, um, you know, treat it more nicely, but I don't know for sure. I'd like to think that, but who knows? They may look at it and be like, who knows? Who knows? Uh, Leah says received a couple without issue in Canada. That's good to know. Where's my ruler? Let's see what this one is measuring out. I need one more strip. And then I'll measure this out, I think. That would be a good size, I think. So I'll just do that. Make sure my right sides are together, which this time they are. Can't believe I sewed that the wrong way. That's all right. It happens to the best of us. It just goes to show you, I'm just like all of you. <laughs> and sew things backwards too. Oh boy.
Oh my God. <laughs> I got scared. I could not figure out what that was. So I'm sitting here sewing along and out of the corner of my eye, I see something like scurry across the floor. And I was like, ah, in my head. I didn't actually scream, but I definitely was like, what is that? And I look down to see some fabric. Some fabric had fallen off the table as the machine apparently shook it. Um, and it scared me because the ring light is currently creating a shadow on the floor. And so when the, the fabric like fell, the shadow went Woof! and it scared me. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. All right, let's see. If I cut this at two inches, yes. Perfect. Does this reach five? Yep. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this off at the two inch mark. And I will show you the result. There we go. There we go. All right. So it looks a bit like wonky and a little crazy. It will, it'll even out a little bit when I iron it. I really should have gone to grab my friend's iron, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when you just like sew scraps of fabric together and create something that looks like this. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm apparently still digesting dinner. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, this one is now done. Because I'm going to double check this again, but I think it measures. This one measures. I'm currently at eight inches by six inches. So this is larger. Yeah, this is larger than the five by seven postcard. And I will take this and sew it all to, or I will iron it and then do some quilting on it. And then I will cut it down to the five by seven, but that's what it looks like. Donna says, I like wonky. I do too. This one's pretty wonky. It's got a, it's got a banana on it. So, uh, so that's another one. That's three that I've made tonight so far. It is 8.55. How about we make one more? Does that sound good? We'll make one more for tonight. Sherry says, I'm not fond of winter now that I'm older. However, I can tolerate it better than North Queens, Queensland's summer. There must be a debate going on about temperatures. Susie says, when I lived off the grid, I would have the dining room light on and the small black bat would get the bugs attracted to the light. They would fly by the sliding glass doors. Interesting. Uh, I don't like Texas summers at all, to be completely honest with you. I do not like the Texas summers. And I really, really am getting tired of them. <laughs> I'm getting tired of them. Whoops. I do have, so I am using the original pedal for this machine and I do have a pedal adapter and I like it a lot. It really helps turn it into like a standard pedal that we're used to today. And it helps me a lot because um, that, if you've never seen a pedal for a featherweight, they're just like a, a little nub that you step on, and I did not like that. So this, this converter is very helpful. Let's see, let's do, let's do some of this. Mm. Yeah, let's do some of this, I think. No, I want to do it like that. Yeah, that's the way I want to do it. 
sometimes I get into my brain a little, I, I get my brain a little, give my brain a little tizzy as I'm like trying to figure out how to sew the material on, but I always get there. It takes me a second, but I get there. Some of my friends, I'm getting a group message. Some of my friends are talking about the tornadoes this morning. They're checking in on one of our other friends to make sure that they um, are okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that they lived anywhere close to where the tornadoes were. So, Ian, do you go home with any bruises? Did you go home with any bruises from Becca's? Maybe. Um, I did have a small bruise. Um, it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything bad. I um, and it's completely my fault. I just, just you know, kind of landed funny, and and it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Um, let's see. But yes, I did. I did. I did go home with a small bruise, and I am totally okay. Totally, totally okay. Well, I didn't quite do that right. If I do it like that. Yeah, that would work. We can do that. I watched the live when he fell off the chair, so I had to ask. That was actually not the reason I had a bruise. Um, I had a bruise, a small bruise, from when I fell down her basement stairs. <laughs> I laugh at myself, like, it's totally okay. I, I was fine. I really was fine. It just cracked me up that I fall down the stairs, <laughs> at the top of the stairs, I hear Jason say, what was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I was like, came back. Once I stopped laughing at myself, I came back up the stairs, I'm like, it was me. I fell down the stairs, I'm fine. It's okay. It was, it was funny. It was really, really funny. I'm fine. I'm really totally fine. It was no big deal at all. It just, it made me laugh. It really, really made me laugh is all it did. It was so funny too, because like I was at, I was at the very top of her basement stairs and I literally took, I had already done the first step and I was going for the second step and I just, my foot slipped. There was some, I, I, I can't even, I don't even know exactly what happened. I just know that my foot slipped and one minute I was at the top of the stairs and then suddenly my butt is bouncing off of all the stairs below it and I'm like and I'm like trying to grab the handrail or something to stop myself and it's just not working and then I was at the bottom of the stairs that's, that's how that happened it's fine it's fine I'm totally fine totally fine totally fine it was pretty funny it really was pretty funny. Let's see, I wanna do it this way. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah, I wanna do it. I wanna do it this way. I'm getting, this one is getting long. Um, and so I just want like, I just want to be careful that I'm not making it too long because then I would have to cut a lot off. 
Although what I did um, for one of them, when I was putting it together, I realized I made it like way too long, way, 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 way too long. And so I ended up cutting it into two. So I ended up making two postcards out of it because um, I just kind of kept going and lost track. And then I was like, oh, I could totally turn this into two postcards. And that's what I did. And it came out really well. It came out well. So I'm just gonna do a little trimming to trim this up and make it nice and neat. I thought something was brushed up the back uh, against the back of the chair, but I think it was the tree, the spinning tree. Oops, and I forgot to cut some of this. So I'm gonna trim that. Have a pile of trimmings over there and if I really wanted to I could probably um, send them off to Tiffany or something and she could work with them but these are honestly so small that they're just really not worth it. Right. <laughs> The Empty Nester Quilter says, a fast way to navigate the stairs. Well, yeah, definitely did that. Definitely did that one. It was a very fast trip down to the bottom. <laughs> and that's what, I that's what I laughed at myself for. I was like, goodness gracious, like literally at the top of the stairs one minute, down at the bottom the next. It was hilarious. All right, so here's what I have so far. This is not big enough to be its own, like it's not tall enough yet to be its own postcard just yet, but we're getting there. Oops. Oh, interesting. Kelly says, so Lily and I live about 100 kilometers east of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, which is only 150 miles north of Seattle. So the climate is the same. Very interesting. Did not know that. All right, I want to add something else. What am I going to add? What scraps do I have? I think I have... Oh, yep, there it is. I have some TARDIS fabric. I have some ruler fabric. I'm very glad, <laughs> very glad I wasn't in Dallas Fort Worth International Airport today because they're, um, they had to activate their tornado procedures. Um, and it is apparently a very loud noise that goes off and it probably would have startled me going off but I've seen several TikToks and even on the news um, of people in the airport and it's like whoop 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 there's a tornado warning issued in this area please seek shelter and but it's like loud 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 and I'm like oh my goodness I would have I would have peed myself Definitely would have peed myself. Let's see. I think that will do it there. Let's get this. I miss, there's not a, no, there's not. I was gonna be, I was gonna say like, a lot of machines nowadays have like a little thread cutter on them um, so that way you don't have to, like, you just pick it up and go bloop and trim it. Mine has one on it as well. It, it has an automatic thread cutter, uh, but sometimes, uh, I will use that one anyways. All right, let's see where we're at. We are not to five yet. Not quite to five. I'm just outside of Vancouver too, only 39, or excuse me, 30, 39 patches to go and then I'm done with the first three clues. Awesome. 
All right, so we did that. So I've got the bottom. Now I need to work on the top a little bit. I wonder if I do. Uh, that would result in a weird seam and I don't want to do that. But I could, I could, 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 could do one of these. I could take this and I could do this and I could sew this like so. So I could do that together like that. And trim this up. I miss having my full setup so that way I can like iron and press and do all that. Cause this material, I shoved it all into a bag and so some of it's pretty wrinkly right now, but that's okay. Okay, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Let's do do another piece. Um, I haven't added this one in, so I think I might. So this, this, yeah. Let's sew this one, I think. I'm looking at all my fabrics. Uh, let's do this one. Bye, Kelly. Thanks for joining. Hope you have a good evening. Whoops. Also, guys, don't forget the 12 days of quilt mess are officially over, but you still have a chance to win the quilt that I made. You can do so if you head over to my 12 days of quilt mess video. Head over to that video down in the description. So underneath the video, there's a description box. It's, it says um, show more. Click that button. That will take you over and the, there's a link there that takes you to the official entry form for my quilt. So if you're interested in possibly winning that quilt in the giveaway, you can do that. Uh, you can check it out check it out under that um, video and possibly win that quilt. Let's do this. I think we're going to sew this together like this. That quilt was a lot of fun to make. Uh, that was a lot of Took a lot of, um, not ingenuity, but like trying to put all of those fabrics together was, I, like when I first got all the fabrics, I was like, what am I gonna do with this? This is ridiculous. Um, but it turned out okay. I feel like it turned out okay. I don't know, you tell me. You tell me what you thought of my quilt. Hey, Tucker, welcome. Uh, do, we'll do that one. Thank you for being here. Tucker says, hey, Ian, are you leaving threads at someone else's house again? <laughs> New series, Ian breaks into other people's houses to sew. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know about the breaking and entering part, but uh, no, I will not be leaving threads at someone else's house. I will be uh, cleaning up my threads. Thank you very much. Uh, but yes, I am sewing at someone else's house today as I am currently house and dog sitting. Dexter decided to get off the couch and he's now in the living room scratching himself. <laughs> and he just plopped down. It's so funny to me when dogs, like when they sit down or get settled and they go, it's so funny to me. Oh goodness. I 
I'm suffering withdrawals from the lack of quiltness. It was so much fun. I'm so glad to hear that. I think we, Tucker, Tucker can chime in too, but I think we had a lot of fun working on that. It was a really fun project and it really allowed us to flex our creative muscle as we tried to figure out how to like take all those fabrics and use them all together. That was not easy, not easy at all. Um, but I think I loved seeing how everybody took the took the prompt and like ran with it and everyone did their own thing. And like, even though Tucker and um, uh, Donna did a similar idea, not the same, but a similar idea, it was, they're two different projects. They are two completely different projects. And like, you can tell that they're two different projects. And I love that. It's, it's just, it was so awesome. It was a lot of fun. I have the feeling there will be more collaborations in the future so i would make sure to subscribe to all of our channels to uh, get updates on what we're going to be doing next um donna says i can't wait for you to do the fat quarter quilt fat quarter quilt am i doing a fat quarter quilt am i doing something that i didn't know about <laughs> Please, please elaborate. Uh, Pat, this reminds me of Becca sewing in front of her fireplace last year. Yeah, that's right. It's very similar, isn't it? It would have been nice if I could have, you know, had a fire going in it. Um, but A, I really did not want to start a fire tonight because it is, it, it, I'm wearing longer pants, but it is still way too warm for that. It is currently 54. And that's cool, but it's not like fireplace weather. So um, yeah, no, no fire in the fireplace tonight. I also don't know how their fireplace works. So I didn't wanna like mess with it. It seems silly, like I don't know how a fireplace works, but like there's things you have to do, right? Like you kinda, yeah, anyways, you know what I mean. Um, and so I didn't want to bother with it. Just didn't want to bother with it. Oh, the Sewers Club box. Yeah. Uh, the Fat Quarter Shop is not me. The Sewers Club, I did do that box. Um, and they are, they said that they were interested in maybe doing some more with me. I don't know. I got to talk to them more and see if the Source Club is interested in some more collaborations of some type. Okay. All right. This is officially larger. It's actually much larger, but that's okay because I can trim it down. This is now officially larger than what I needed, but here is another postcard top. There you go. I don't know which way it goes because you can kind of do it whichever way you want. But there's another one. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm actually gonna trim this side up a little bit because it does not need to be that long. So I'll trim it like that, that goes in there. Tucker says, it was awesome to see how Veruin took the same fabric and made completely different quilts. Absolutely. Also coming up with all the ideas uh, and videos within two, I, that was a race to the finish. And I had to do it, a like I had to make sure my video was a little ahead of schedule because I was gonna be out of town from Thanksgiving until the first day of Quiltmas. So I needed to make sure that all of my stuff was ready to go. Lily asks, can you use the same method to make a folded card? Um, that's a good question. I think you could. I think you could. Because you could do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you could take, uh, um, you could take a, a card stock and instead of having like a single panel, 
you could do like a like fold the paper in half and then you could still do the stitching the way that I do it is I do the stitching all the way around and so you would have to create a new fold like where the stitching ends to open it but yeah I could see that I could definitely see that that gives me an idea maybe I should work on that hmm I like that idea good idea um yeah, all the projects were just really amazing. All right, so that is the fourth one that I've made tonight. And I think I'm gonna call it a night, but before we go, I wanna show you all four of them again. So this is the one that I just finished, whichever way you wanna put that one. So there's number one. This is number two. This was number, well, this is number three. It's just a simple, simple bars. And I think my favorite of the night is this one, number four. So tell me in the comments or in the live chat, if you're here now, let me know which one do you like the best? One, two, three, or four. Let me know which of the four postcard tops I made tonight is your favorite, because I want to know. I'm interested. Lily says four. Uh, yeah, everyone's saying four. I figured you'd all go for that. I love that one a lot. It came out really, really well. Like, I, I definitely agree with all of you. Number four is my favorite of the night. Love that a lot. Mmm. Tucker says three. Tucker likes number three the best. Very cool. Lovely all, but I like the last one the best, says Melissa. I do too. Pat says that she likes number three the best. It's, I love seeing everybody's opinions. Like, it's very interesting to me. Very, very interesting. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this evening. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Don't forget, a couple of things before you... Don't run. Don't click the, don't click the X button yet to close out of this. A couple things really quick. Uh, I'm looking to do some sort of giveaway, possibly a live stream sometime after Christmas. I haven't decided it'd be another sit and sew kind of like this where I'll be sewing on a project and we'll do some sort of giveaway. That's, that's what I'm hoping to do. So make sure to look for details on that coming up. Don't forget the 12 days of Quiltmas are officially over and now is your chance to enter for those quilts. If you want to win a quilt, head to whichever quilts uh, creators uh, that you want because you can enter for all 12, you can enter for just one, you can enter six of them, you can enter however many of them you want. Head to your, to your YouTuber's uh, video in the description of their video. There should be a link to their entry form because we're all 12 doing 12 entry forms for everyone uh, to do. So if you want to win a quilt of that person, like if you want to win my quilt, go to that video on my channel, enter the information and enter to win that quilt. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm gonna see you before Christmas or not, but if I don't, have a very happy holiday season and hopefully I will see you uh, just before the new year. I should probably record videos and stuff, but I, it's been so crazy lately, I have no idea when or what. But I have some dishes sitting in the sink over there that I need to take care of before my friends get home. So I should probably do that. I hope everybody has a great night. Remember guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer. I'll see you guys next time. I've got to get up and actually walk to the other side of the camera. But I hope everybody has a great night. And I love y'all. You're very welcome, the emptiness quilter. Thanks for being here. Wee! Give me likes. Give me thumbs up. Thank you guys. Good night, everybody. I'm going to go turn off the camera now. Hope you all have a great evening. Bye-bye.